Hi everyone, welcome to a new video about .NET MAUI of course. Today I will talk about Visual State and Visual State Manager. And if you became a member of my channel, you will get access to all the source code that I show in this video. And you will also get early access to upcoming videos. And of course, you support me a bit extra. So if you like my videos, you are very welcome to join my channel as a member. Okay, let's continue. Visual states is something that can help you make your apps better and you can customize them more. You can override default states and you can create your own states. So if with the official documentation for .NET MAUI and visual states, we can see that all visual elements has a few states that you can use and that are used by MAUI, but you can override them. And the states are normal, disabled, focused, selected, and point over. But of course, that also varies from control to control. Some controls have more states defined. And you also find them in the documentation here. So we have button that has a pressed. We have carousel view that have default item. Current item, previous item, next item that can have different states. Check both have checked is checked. State, of course, and collection view is selected, image button pressed, and so on. You can go and read these docs yourself. But today I will show you how this works from the beginning. So I will open Visual Studio and I will show you how to work with Visual States and the Visual State Manager. So now I have opened Visual Studio and I'm running Visual Studio inside of Parallels with coherence mode. And if you're interested to buy Parallels, you can do that by the link you find in my description. They are not sponsoring this video, but if you buy via this link, you will support my channel a bit. Okay, so in this app, I have created two entries uh, with just a placeholder text. And now I want to change the behaviors here. So inside of this entry, we will add some visual state groups. So we do that by saying visual state manager dot visual state groups. I will create a visual state group, visual state group, give it a name, common states, because here we'll define the common states. So to the visual state group, we will add a visual state and we will start with normal. What's important here is to add all the common states if you want it to work as it should. So we create visual state, state, and inside of that, we should add some setters, but we start with name, normal, and visual state dot setters. And here we create a setter and we use property and we can have font size for this demo value. Let's say 10 in normal state, like that. And now we can copy this visual state and add the other common states here as well. So focused, disabled, and point over. And even if we don't have any Setter here, so we need to have the visual states as I said. So it can also be empty. But for focus here, we will go and change value to 30. And now we should be able to see that the font size changed when we focus on the first entry. So we run the app. So here we have the iOS simulator, and here you can see the text is really small on the first one, but when we focus on it, it will be bigger. And when we unfocus, it will be smaller again. And as you also can see here, it's only applied to this first entry. And that is because we only added it to that entry. If we want to have it on all entries in our app, we can add it to a style. So let's go and do that. So we remove the visual states groups from here. And now we have only the entries. And we go to the app and here we already have a style for target type entry. So we go here and we will add a setter. Property and that will be visual state manager dot visual state groups. 
like that and then we paste what we have here and we don't need that one and we don't need that one and now we can go and run it again and now you can see that we have an exception when we copy the code that we have in the page and that is because we need to add this visual state group list to the style setter so we go and do that so here we will add visual state group list because we need to instantiate that type here just like that and now we can go around the app again and now we can see the simulator here and you can see that we have pretty small text on both of those and we press one we will have the same behavior on both of them so that's nice because it's probably this way you will use the visual states not for only single one so this was the common states now i will show you how to define your own states so we can go here and we can create a new visual state group in the visual state group list and now we can create our own visual states visual states so we call it x colon name and valid for example if we want to have input validation and show them different when we have a valid state and an invalid state so we will add some setters setters and in the setters list we will have a setter property uh, background color value let's say green if it's valid and now we can copy that visual state and we can create an invalid state too and maybe we should use a red there so now we have added two new states and now we want to use those states and for that the visual state manager have a go to state method that we can use so i have created a behavior that i call validation behavior and here i bind the text change event and here I added a rule if length of the text is more than three then I will go to the valid state else go to invalid state like this and then we pass the entry to that or actually we pass the visual element that we can want to use this for because we can use it for all the visual elements so the only thing we need to do now is to go to the entry and add the behavior and we do that do it like this entry dot behaviors and then i already imported the namespace is the root of the project so it will be root validation behavior just like that and we can add it to the both of the entries and now we can go and run the app once again and here we have the app as you can see we still have the common states behaviors but now we can start type here with only one character it will be red and then we can continue to write and now it changed to green because we now have a length of four and we go back and we have the same for both of them so that is basically how to use visual state manager and from now you can continue to work with your apps and make them better and more interactive thank you very much for watching this video if you like it please press the like button and subscribe to my channel if you don't do so already and now you can also be a member of my channel and get access to the source code and early access to coming videos see you next time bye bye